Welcome to Polypeptide Synthesis. To begin, responders will scan the QR code in the top left corner using their mobile phone or tablet. This will take them directly to a PDF that has specific instructions and attached images on how to successfully complete the process. The first part of transcription involves unzipping the DNA so that the two strands are separated. As indicated by the labels, the colourful foam pieces will represent the four nucleotide bases and the orange platform will embody the enzyme RNA polymerase. The tape holding the bases together, indicative of the hydrogen bonds, will be cut down the middle by the blade protruding from the enzyme. Users will then attach the coding strand of the DNA to the purple platform, also representing RNA polymerase. This strand will be used as a template to compose the corresponding mRNA strand. Responders will use the key provided above to successfully transcribe the DNA into mRNA. The codons of the mRNA will then be joined together by the available fastener pins to compose the primary transcript of mRNA. Users will fold the fastener pins down to create a secure and movable mRNA strand. It is important to note that after the mRNA has been transcribed, it undergoes splicing, whereby non-coding segments of the DNA, called introns, are removed. For the sake of simplicity, this component of polypeptide synthesis has been deliberately excluded from my model. After splicing has occurred, the mature mRNA strand will exit the nucleus via a nuclear pore, as indicated by the gap between the red paddle pop sticks and attached to a ribosome in preparation for translation. Users will be instructed to determine the correct tRNA molecule by matching its anticodon to the complementary codon of mRNA. The tRNA molecule will be inserted into the ribosome like so, and the attached pom-pom ball, indicative of an amino acid, will be threaded onto the string of wool above. The clear spaces will be inserted between amino acids to represent the peptide bonds. The tRNA molecule will be removed, the mRNA strand will shift to the next codon, and the process will continue until the ribosome reaches a stop codon. As with any part of my model, if there is any confusion regarding the correct bonding between anticodon and codon, there is concise information along with clear images in the attached PDF document. This will facilitate the correct completion of the process and promote a more enriched understanding for responders. Once the ribosome reaches a stop codon, the growing polypeptide chain will terminate and polypeptide synthesis for this specific segment of the DNA has been completed. The polypeptide will then fold into a three-dimensional, fully functional protein that will play a vital role in keeping you alive. Thank you for watching Polypeptide Synthesis, modeled by Christopher Rutherford.